The legal public interest organization Judicial Watch has done more than any lawmaker or any congressional committee over the past two years to inform the public about the widening Obama, Clinton, Russia collusion scandal. And it is because of their efforts that the FBI now says it has recovered 72,000 more pages of Clinton records. The State Department, however, says they have failed to produce even half of those 72,000 emails and pages in response to a federal court order. They have told, the State Department has, the judiciary to go to hell. They have told the American people to go to hell. And anyone, anyone who expects the State Department to act like any part of the U.S. government is going to be sorely frustrated. Only a handful of those emails have been made public, and at the current rate under federal court order, the entire trove of Clinton records won't be fully available for release until 2020. That passes for American law and order. Joining me now, oh yes, and, uh, and State Department integrity. Joining us, Chris Farrell. He's the Director of Investigations and Research for Judicial Watch. Chris, first, congratulations. I'm always delighted when I can say that to you and, and, uh, and Judicial Watch, because it means the American people are going to learn something that we wouldn't Thank have you. otherwise. Your thoughts? Um, <clears throat> this is what I've said all along, is that these congressional investigations have their place and their time, but the level of criminality we're talking about now and the national security threat that we're talking about now, you know, uh, Attorney General Sessions, call your office, right? We need grand juries and indictments. We need prosecutions, not congressional hearings. Uh, if the congressional hearings come along after the fact to look at the systemic problems and the larger constitutional questions, that's great. But the matters we're dealing with are so serious we have got to see people indicted and put on trial. We need findings of fact from courts, not opinions from politicians.